Jane, let me start with you. What do you think of this idea of uh, making the parents uh, be just as responsible as apparently the teen? It's absolutely ridiculous, Marty. It's part of our addiction to incarceration and punishment and crime and punishment. Let's punish everybody. Let's prosecute everybody in America till we're all locked up. We already lock up more people than any other country in the world. It's that punishment mentality. What would be an emotionally sober approach is to ask, what is in our culture that is encouraging this behavior? What's happening with our teenage girls and boys, for that matter, that is affecting their self-esteem, that they feel the need to degrade themselves in this manner, to get to the deeper why? We are so reactive as a culture. All we want to do is punish people. Instead all right, Jane, of let me, to figure all right, all right. we'll hold you there just for a moment because I want to bring in some others. We're short on time. Roland, what do you think of this idea? Look, first of all, I'm a native of Texas, but this is really a stupid law. Uh, if you get a traffic ticket and, and if a judge sentences you to go to traffic court, uh, or actually go to driver's ed, do you have to bring your parent? No, typically you're the one who actually goes there. Uh, and so it makes no sense. Look, I understand you want to educate parents as well, but the child is the one uh, who has committed the offense. They're the ones who should be going to a class. But to bring the parent, look, parent, drop the kid off and then pick them up. All right, well, um I got another idea for you, and that is, look, it, well, go ahead, Pete, go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm stopping Well, you. listen, uh, we have to outlaw sex in this country. You shouldn't have sex. No one should have <laughs> ever have sex. You shouldn't even okay, draw a time picture ago. Of, of a naked person. I mean, What about all the porn the adults insane. are watching? Why don't we ask where uh, the kid's getting this idea? Because millions of yeah. dads and brothers and sons are watching porn. What's, well, what's let worse me ask you, in this country, sex you this. or violence? If We're you demonizing are, sex. If you're, hold then you on have a to second. outlaw hold. YouTube. You have to outlaw webcams, uh, cameras, everything. Uh, making this a crime, then you have to make sex a crime. But what if this took place? Say that your child, the teen, in a classroom disrupted the class by stripping down and going naked or making sexual innuendos <laughs> to the teacher. Wouldn't the parent be called no, no, in no. and told to say, hey, what's going on here? What is the difference simply because stripping the device down, is a phone? Stripping down in class is a lot, Marty, it's a lot different than taking a picture and sending it, obviously. But uh, I have two little girls myself. You have to be, you have to teach them what's right and hope that they, they, they listen, right. period. Again, and where do you draw the line? If a girl goes to the beach and takes a picture of herself in a bikini and sends it, uh, are her parents going to be prosecuted? It's absurd. All right, there Martin, we go. The issue here uh, is Roland, not, go ahead, last is, word. Yeah, again, the issue here is not a parent being responsible and talking with their child. What the law is simply saying is if a child goes to a class, the parent has to attend the class. And again, the person who is doing the sexting, they should be the one who has to go to the class. That makes sense. But to require the parent there, oh, come on, give me a break. All right. Well, thanks to all three of you. There's nothing like sex to bring out a good conversation. So we appreciate all of you participating. Thanks. And I'm going to I'm going to send a, a Peter text right now. <laughs> we'll all I'm actually sending you a picture. Me, Roland. Roland. <laughs> we go, we got to go. All right.